swear I hear the damnedest noises. <clears throat> Every time we go live, as soon as I hit live, I'm starting to hear noises. All right, you guys. It is Sunday. It is Sunday art day. Twitch is having a hard time telling me how stable my uh, connection is, which is interesting. Usually kicks in by now. We'll see how that goes. Alright, so when we last left off, um, we had gotten in our uh, foliage up here. Now, um, I did do another stream. I think during the week where we started to put in the water um, and I was fussing around getting the watercolor right and so I finally decided on my base color and um, got that squared away I didn't have time this week to come back in and get the edges um, with their top coat so um, we will I will worry about that later um, today I'll just kind of work on our top coat on our front so with the background I kind of tried to do this like stone wash faded kind of look so we've got some darkness kind of poking through in spots so our dark color is gonna be um, ocean blue. I got rid of the Hawaii color. I wasn't feeling it. It, it wasn't dark enough. Um, I probably could have gone darker, but um, I'd already decided on this one. And now we're gonna come in with the light turquoise from uh, Anita's again. Not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. Nothing against the brand, I'm just, I'm not sponsored, and uh, I don't really want to shop at Hobby Lobby, but hey, if they want to work something out between them directly and me, that's, that's something. I don't know if you can, I don't know if they have a website, actually. If they have a website where people can buy directly from them and avoid going to Hobby Lobby, then uh, sure. Let's work something out. I don't know if I'm going to be using this brush. I grabbed it and I was like, yeah. Yeah, maybe. But I'm looking at my options and this one's starting. I forgot how afraid this one was from what I had done with it previously, so. I forgot how many little curly cues were in there. I didn't see it when I was uh, looking at it dry here, but. Sorry, I'm going through a brush container. I mean, this guy might work. Maybe. Let's see. Let's see. So I'm just dipping my brush in some water. And then I'm going to grab some of our paint. Just going to kind of make a little bit of a wash here. And I am zoomed out so you guys can see the whole thing. Hey, Zorts. How's it going? If I need to zoom in, let me know. Don't know if that's quite watery enough. I'm not sure I'm happy with this brush either. We will see. We will see. Another working weekend? 
Oh, that sucks. I've done plenty of those. Yeah, you know, I don't. I think I have a piece of, I do. I can see it. Yeah, this brush ain't. I should probably be using the same brush that I put this on with. Now, I did just realize we're probably gonna have to do two coats on the, on the water background because this one had about five when I was trying to sort the color situation. Thank you, Loud Vehicle, for participating. I'm trying to find the... Some of these are still in the plastic because I haven't used them yet, so I was trying to find the ones that I did pull the plastic off of. This should be it here. Alright, that feels a little better. But I think we need to be a little bit more waterier. So how's the rest of the weekend been? I mean, I know... Damn it. I don't know what that was. That looks like a piece of paint that got left over and stuck in there. I know you're working the rest of the weekend, but did it at least go okay? Keeping you out of trouble, sort of? Although you might thrive for trouble, so I don't know. <laughs> Work and sleep. Of course, I don't hear a single car, and then I go live. And every single loud vehicle. Cars for days! I know, really. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Everything that's gonna be loud and make a shit ton of noise is gonna go by. Like, really? It's Sunday, you fuckers. Go home. <laughs> Has it been terrible? I'm spending tomorrow with... Is it Keiju? I don't know how to pronounce that, and I don't want to say it wrong. Well, that's good. At least you got plans for something. Oh, did you check your email? Yeah, it's Sunday, huh? Yeah, but... They, they work weekdays. I know that, but... Yeah, I checked it since then. Okay. I didn't know if you had checked it since you had last talked to them. Alright, so we need to call them tomorrow. Sorry, we're trying to uh, make sure something got confirmed. And I don't remember where it was being mailed to. But the lawyers seem to think that... It should have been updated in the system by Wednesday. We forgot to call on Wednesday. Kai rhymes with guy. Oh, okay. Thank you. Kai Jim. Okay. That helps. I'm terrible with figuring out pronunciations on my own. All right, let's move that before I tilt this up because, oh look, now we're not in frame. All right, I think, I think, I think. We're going to zoom in a bit so we can see what the fuck we're doing. Uh, that should be relatively good. Sorry, paintbrush and mouth, you know. When my hair was longer and I had it pulled back in scrunchies and stuff, I'd have paintbrushes sticking out of my hair. I sadly can't really pull my hair back anymore. That's how bad my, uh, my neck situation is. 
in the back of my head situation. Just the the sensation. That's not dry enough yet. Okay. Of my hair being pulled in a specific way tends to set things off. I actually have my hair clipped back at the moment. Um, just like a kind of like an not really an alligator clip, but like one of these doodles. And even that sometimes. Like I said, just tell me when you need a haircut. I know, but then it's even shorter and it hangs down in my face and when it's so hot. And you, know, you know what can solve that? Duct tape. Yeah, no. No, sir. <laughs> no. Not, there we go. Just, just no. We're not putting any sort of adhesive near my hair. Trying to get non-coated rubber bands out of my hair was bad enough. Because, you know, growing up, there either wasn't money for those, or um, they didn't exist, or the parents were just too cheap. So I cannot tell you the amount of rubber bands, like off of a newspaper rubber bands, had to be cut out of my hair because there was no no unwinding those to get my hair out of a ponytail. That was god awful. Do not recommend that. I was so tired just this heat is kicking my ass between the heat and not being able to sleep. For one reason or another. Russell had a bad night, so I was kind of... Just as I was about to fall asleep, he came back in our room. So I was trying to distract him and keep him company. And he finally fell asleep, and I was still wide awake. And it was like 8.30 in the morning, and I'm like, right. Okay. Well, this is happening. And uh, I was like, and I have a fucking stream later today. <laughs> Oi. Um, and then it's it's just been so hot in this house. Even with the AC running, it's, it's uncomfortable. I was on the show last night, and... Oh, my, my shirt was just drenched by the time I got done. I was sweating so bad. It was so hot in here. But I also didn't have one of the fans running because it rattles... And uh, I didn't want that being an issue in the uh, background of the podcast. And then we have drought conditions going on. It's been so fucking dry. That's not helping our allergy situation either. We really need some fucking rain. I see you. Where are you? I can't tell if you're on the canvas or if you're on my paintbrush. Sorry, I've seen a, f a fuzz. It's not going to show up on camera because I'm not zoomed in enough. But I'm seeing it move. When I'm moving the... There you are. Question is... Can I get you out of there? Come on. I see you. I'm making a mess here. I don't know if I got you or not. I might have gotten you. Oh, my head was probably in the way the whole time. But yeah, it's been grossly hot. And we have the house AC running. It's not bad in the mother-in-law's room, but we have to keep that room shut, unfortunately. Because, you know cats can't behave with one another so someone's always in timeout that's just the way that shit goes I'm not trying to get the edge ones but this one's overlapping so 
It was good to hear from Azzy last night. And I was actually working on show stuff last night for Lita, and I'm like, I am so tired. And I was like to Russell, I was like, oh, I'm probably going to bed early for me. And then he like kind of cut the conversation off abruptly. I'm like, well, I'm not going right this second. I still have some shit I have to finish, but I probably won't be up till like four like I normally am. I was up till four. So <laughs> that just kind of happened. Uh, it wasn't planned on. Um, as he had asked me about my grinding spots, so I was gonna take screenshots. Well, no, first I was digging through the archives of the live stream, so I was like, oh, I'll just timestamp the video and give them the timestamps, and, uh, then I realized when I was going in and looking at it, half of the older stuff doesn't show me doing the full loop, only the recently does it, and I'm like, mmm, that's not gonna work. So I just went in and did a quick walkthrough of my grinding areas for him but nothing's ever quick so even recording like 10 minute clips took me like 45 minutes because of course I did so Of course it did. So I was looking, don't get excited, but I was looking into sticker making. But I don't know if down the road, if the funds become available, if I should attempt it. I don't know how you guys feel about stickers but we could turn some original art into some stickers. We could do some sticker sheets of the emote flamingo guys, quite possibly. But, uh, I want to kind of feel the waters out, test the waters out before I go all in on that, because that's probably... <sighs> Sorry. That's probably roughly a $500 investment. So like I said, it's not happening anytime soon. But, you know, if if we look at maybe some vinyl stickers, what do you guys think? You'll have to let me know. We can put those up in the shop. And those I could probably, depending on how many are ordered, probably swing free shipping on those because they're flat. And it wouldn't be that much. Probably. I feel like I have a buzz in here. But maybe it's just a long hair in this brush. That is possible. Alright. Because apparently everybody is making them with the circuit, or so I keep calling it circuit, um, with the Cricut machines. And I can see how time-wise it would probably be more beneficial to use the Cricut machine because then you can do the sticker sheets and it'll probably be easier to peel off.
but it would definitely be a learning curve and I'd have to look more into it. I'd have to have room for the equipment, which I don't right now. So it might actually be more like a thousand dollar investment because I'd probably have to um, get a different desk or shelving or something to uh, make that uh, work into our tiny work area. <laughs> And in all honesty, I would probably have to make, um, make like a, not necessarily a roll cage, but, you know, kind of like, kind of like the things that you see in the mall to put over the front of some bookshelves if I do get that machine to keep Cal from knocking it off of the shelf. So I'd have to like secure it <laughs> because Cal's a bastard. Actually, Peabut's kind of a bastard, too, but they like to knock things everywhere. I had the shit scared out of me last night. I'm sitting here, and uh, I was, I think I was editing the walkthrough video for Azzy, and, um, nearly jumped 10 feet out of my chair because there was a loud boom in the house. I was like, what the fuck was that? It sounded so loud in the quiet of the house. And I sat here listening and I'm like, what made the noise? Because I was waiting to hear like a parent start yelling or something if somebody had fallen or whatever or yelling at a cat for knocking something over and it was just silent and I was like, what's going on? And um, I kind of sat here for a minute just waiting and nothing happened. So I was like, all right, I guess I'm gonna have to go investigate. Maybe, maybe it came from the dining room that we don't actually use as a dining room. But uh, I was like, let's go see. The only thing I found out of place was a two liter bottle of soda laying on its side. And I was like, there's no way that that was that loud, no way. I, I guess it was, because that was the only thing I found, and nobody else has said anything. About stuff being out of place, or something falling, or telling me about how bad a cat was, or anything, so I'm like, okay, maybe we don't have to do a second coat on these guys. Or maybe the second coat just doesn't have to be real precise here. Maybe we won't do it on all of them. Alright, let me pull that down there. Because you all don't need to see my my shirt. It's a grungy shirt. I have house clothes and then I have house, uh, clothes that are in good enough shape to wear outside. So, um, you know, sometimes you buy that shirt, it's the right size, and you're like, yeah, and then you go to put it on as a girl with with your bra and everything else you're like oh oh this shirt's like see-through or you know your bra's showing like halfway through it and because of the way the shirt's cut and you know these are the things I think about being slightly top heavy so I'm like hmm yeah that's a problem so <laughs> some shirts have inherently become house shirts or the cats put holes in them or there's a stain on them or you know all the things I've got one shirt that I refuse to get rid of because I love the feel of it I'm all about textures 
and uh, some textures skeeve me and some are fabulous. Hey, Mrs. Rockyro. And, um, you know, if I find a texture I love, I'm reluctant to get rid of it. But Cal has about 10 holes in this shirt. Not this one I have on, but the one that's the texture I love. And uh, I'm going to have to get rid of it soon. I don't want to get rid of it soon. I guess I could try to fix the holes, but the material that the shirt's made out of, I don't think that's going to work. It kind of feels like a super soft, silky t-shirt sheet. I know that sounds funny, but that's what it kind of reminds me of. But he's such a dick. He put the holes in it while I was holding him because he velcroed himself to me when I was trying to put him down. And he would not let go. And the shirt was so thin he just started, like, just popping holes in it left and right. I was like, let go. I had to get Russell to detach him from me. Oh no, you're actually part of the brush. Okay. Well, that's one mystery solved. With this fuzz that I'm looking at. Are we in camera? Kofi's in the way, but we're, we're kind of on camera. Alright, so I'm not going to stress too much if we go too far over our dark color here. Because, um... We're going to be cleaning up that space in between with our black fake faux lead lines that you would see. So hope everything is well with you, Mrs. Rockyru. I think Aunt Kofi, you're in the way. Kofi. Let's slide Kofi over. Like, I don't want to go too messy, but if I go over the edge, it's not, not terrible. This one's a little light. I'm just going to come back in and kind of just zigzag over it a little bit. It doesn't have to be real precise for that. You're fine. Good, good. Very good. If I need to zoom in further, guys, let me know. I know we're kind of over here in the corner. But I wanted to work um, back to front down here. Because we're going to do things a little differently. So I'm um, going to get the water. Um, chips in, I guess you would call this, the background. Alright, then we're going to do our cattail leaves, which are these sections in here. A little hard to see because of the way the sketching is. Um, then, after we do our leaves, right, we're going to do our legs. Then we'll start to work on the flamingo, and then when we're done the top flamingo, we'll come in and we'll do our, um, our cattail tops. As I just realized I was pointing to stuff that you guys probably couldn't see.
Because why would we ever do anything on camera? That would just make sense. No, it wouldn't do. Alright, so we're still kind of down here in the corner. Alright, so at least our, our well, our base top coat, if that makes sense, on the dark color, our first pass of the light color, I want to at least try to get that in there as neat as I can. This one still feels a little dark, comparatively. I'm sure there's going to be a noticeable <laughs> difference in uh, shading over there, but we'll see if we can't try to even that out. I was worried that was going to be a problem. It's not too bad, but with the amount of coats that were done over there trying to sort that bottom color. I was like, hmm. Like, I'm certainly not doing that on everybody. And I actually have a swatch, a sheet of those colors. Uh, well, these colors that we're using. Um, I didn't think to pull it out. I should have. It's in one of my sketchbooks. I think the thought, you know, I did think about it briefly. And then the thought of trying to dig the sketchbook out of where it was currently, I was like, uh, you know, let's, let's just, let's just go for it. Like it might be less trouble. Some of the lids, I have the shade on top some of them. None of the ones that I have out right now, but some of them do. But then again, it's also on a black lid, so it's going to be a little harder to judge. Right, I'm just going to do a maintenance clean on my brush here. Maintenance rinse to keep things from getting too funny and drying in there. Because these are the newer brushes. I mean, they're not super expensive brushes, but after we've fixed a couple of the minor things that I didn't like about them, which were fixable on our end, with, you know, either tiny, tiny cuticle scissors or nail clippers. I use nail clippers because I don't have cuticle scissors right now. Those suckers are dangerous. <laughs> you gotta be real careful with those. I've I've done some damage with them. Um, but uh, that probably would have gotten the job done. Alright, so I am just getting another round of our light color here together. So this, sorry, fuzz, with all the fans going, there's fuzz flying everywhere. Um, and it settles where it wants to. And these tiny guys are kind of staticky. So the fuzz just wants to cling to it. Um, this is something you're just going to have to eyeball. Because there's no real formula for this. You know, if it looks too watery when you put it on, then add another couple dabs of paint. That's really what it's going to come down to. If it's too thick and you're not seeing any of the color from underneath, then you're just going to want to um, add a little bit more water. Like, I'm looking at this. 
And this, like, this pass might need another drop of water, potentially. Because that's a little thin, I think. That's a little better. I mean, it's a little hard to tell while it's wet. And you're going to see the, the teeth of the canvas when you're laying it on top. Because it is rather watered. Um, for doing it this way. So it's going to kind of look like a waffle. I don't know if I can zoom in far enough to get that across, but it's going to kind of look like a tiny little waffle seeing all the little crisscrossy um, weave texture. If you're doing this on a canvas, if you're doing it on a piece of wood, then you're not going to see that texture, but you are going to see the texture doing it on canvas this way. Alright. And again, if it's too light for you, or too light. If um, if it's not light enough, there we go. When it dries, then you can always come back over with another pass. Hi, little. Where are you? Oh, she meows in her sleep. She is the dreamiest cat. little bit. I've never had a cat meow in their sleep before that I've heard and she does it at such a high pitch. She sounds lost and I'm like what's the matter? The dog dreams and uh, both of them but Momo does it more than Zuzu where he'll start barking in his sleep. Not loud, but he'll go woof, woof, woof. And then sometimes I'll hear grrr. And then his tail will start wagging. And I'm like, buddy, what are you doing? What's going on over there? She jerked awake when I touched her. Oh, jeez. Well, she seemed, seemed very content to get pet, so probably wasn't a happy dream. She probably dreamed that the edit or cornered or something. Actually, I have to wonder if she dreams about being a kitten again. Yeah, that's what's... I thought she was meowing at me because she wanted my seat. I'm like, cat, it's too early for this. Because I kicked her out of it when I got up. Yeah, she's doing the thing where she tucks her head into me. No, little bits. She's a sassy one. The sass is high with that one. Oh, guys, guys, we have raccoons now. Did I tell you? <laughs> when um, we had put the camera back outside because um, of the weird guy and the whole pest control incident um because we'd had it up in the attic catching the mice and we had gotten them all again we haven't heard them since we got rid of those two so fortunately i think we got them quick enough where they didn't um yeah they didn't start nesting too hard up there and uh we finally got the camera back outside and the other night we're sitting here I'm like, what is that noise? I was just like, what? I'm like, I'm hearing a clanging. And um, we brought the camera up because we couldn't see anything in our field of vision. And um, he's like, I'll be damned. I'm like, what? He goes, there's a single skinny raccoon 
investigating the cat food bowl on the porch. I was like, oh, really? Now, we had seen a raccoon or two passing through once or twice, but it's been months, if not a year, since we'd seen them. And, like, we're like, oh, that's kind of weird. I guess they moved on. Or, you know, got flattened or something by the traffic. And we're like, okay. So, didn't really think about it again. And then we saw a skinny guy on the camera and we're like, huh, that's interesting. And I'm like, oh, I wonder if that's what ripped open the one trash bag the other night. Because we had put the trash out. I guess it was last week. Um, and for some reason we were still awake at sunrise. I think it was like 5.30, 6 a.m. And, uh, we saw that one of the trash bags had been ripped open and the trash guys won't take it if it's like that. So Russell was quick hurrying to, um, grab another city trash bag to put over it. Cause they start their route at 6 a.m. in the summer and, um, we couldn't figure out what had done it. I thought it was the outside cat getting ornery. And Russell's like, I don't know. Um, so we weren't real sure. And then we saw that guy on the camera and we're like, oh. Maybe. Maybe it was this guy. <laughs> so. The other night. Russell had gone to bed and I have a simulator to run the camera on my computer because of the camera it is it's more just um, it's like app based and the app links with his phone but there's no PC app for this camera it's just a phone app so I'm like well that's fucking helpful um, so he found a, sim uh, a simulator to make it so I can run this on my PC. When I hear something outside, I can open it up and check it. It takes forever to open, but a lot of the times I'll do that when he goes to bed. Just to make it faster, I'll just have it open in the background. So if you guys see where I'm playing blue stacks on Discord, that's actually our security camera that's overtaking whatever I'm doing. And it just shows that it like a game and I'm like no that's not a game I mean there's some games in that app but I actually I'm, I'm looking at the camera I've never touched the games on there but uh he's like hey because he was in his mom's room trying to sleep to keep the cat that was in their company and I was like what he goes check out the playback on the camera we had more visitors like when because I didn't hear them and he goes oh like a half hour ago I'm like really so I brought up the camera and sure enough this time there was three raccoons out there and they were pretty pudgy um, like they looked like they had not missed a meal and uh, they looked about the size of the largest cat that we have or Zuzu. Well, actually, I think they were bigger than Zuzu, come to think of it. Um, at least the way the camera was angled, they looked bigger. And uh, they were investigating the cat food bowl. And then, all of a sudden, the one that was kind of bringing up the rear made some kind of weird gesture, and all three of them kind of took off. It almost reminded me of, like, a bank heist or something. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? Um... We just have the free version for the camera, so I don't have uh, playback recorded for it. So I can't really show you guys. If I think about it, maybe we can try to do that sometime. Where I can have it uh, recorded from OBS while the playback's running. But it was only like a really short clip. But I was like, so now I've dubbed them Larry, Moe, and Curly. Cause it definitely seemed like a Three Stooges event 
and they all kind of scurried towards the carport and vanished into the night. I was like, really? Really, guys? And then Russell's like, well, should we find out what raccoons are supposed to eat? And, and put that out there so that we can see them on the camera better? And, like, change where that's set up? And I'm like, well, no, because... They're gonna eat whatever they're gonna eat. They're gonna eat what we put out there. And then they're gonna eat the cat food anyway, so... I mean... I don't... I don't really know if that's gonna solve anything. He goes, well, yeah, but then we'd be able to see them on the camera better. I'm like, uh... I... I don't... I don't know. We don't really have the money to feed the raccoons anyway. It's like a damn Snow White story over here with all the fucking critters we've got <laughs> we've got two outside cats although the one outside cat we haven't seen in a while so I don't know if he's finally um, accepted the fact that this territory has been taken over by this other cat or if his owners have been keeping him inside I don't know because um, that one we believe did have a home this one that's kind of taken over our front porch we don't think he has a home we're not sure what his deal is but he's very lovable and very playful and he'll actually sit there and start meowing at the door to get us to come out just to chill with him my mom's out there like 30 times a day smoking but you know he wants to get in the laps now he wants to need you he's starting to purr I had him playing out there with a tin foil ball, but then it kind of went towards the road. I'm like, oh no, let's let's not let's play with this up on the porch, not not in the yard. And um, he he's a piece of work. He's out there chasing bugs, playing, keeps staring at the door longingly. I'm like, dude, you can't come in. He seems to have developed quite an affection for Zuzu. Which is very strange, because Zuzu gets nervous about the cats in the house when they start fucking with him. <laughs> and, um, he'll get, like, yelpy and, and whiny and skittish and stuff, but we thought Num Nums was trying to get to one of us when we crossed the street to take Zuzu to his favorite tree to pee on at night and to check his doggy grapevine messages. It now appears that the cat is trying to get the dog, and I don't mean in a vicious way. He seems to want to play with him, and it's really kind of strange, because the one night um, we were coming back from across the street, I was with Russell, and I had Zuzu, and Zuzu was kind of lagging behind Russell, and all of a sudden... Nom Noms came running up and flattened himself in the grass like he was stalking the dog and I'm like, what are you doing? Let's not upset the dog at 11 o'clock at night. And then he like kind of ran up to him like he was gonna pounce him and didn't and then just started smelling his face. I'm like, what are you doing? And it was just so bizarre. Because I'm like, you realize this is a dog, right? <laughs> Zuzu seems to like him. Momo likes him, but Momo likes being inside better. But Zuzu knows when he's outside a lot of the time and will be like, I want to go outside and see the cat. And I'm just like, really? Because you get mad when cow taps your tail. And it seems like Nom Noms is trying to do that to you. So this is very strange. He's normally scared of everything. Even though he seems to be the dominant dog between the two. Alright, these ones just, they looked a little lean in the lighter color department. So I'm just going to come back in and uh, hit these guys up with another pass. Could have just been the way the pigment was distributed. That's why I'm trying to make sure I'm stirring this whenever we go to pick up some more of that. 
but uh, very strange. The weird sort of relationship these two have going on, but we can't let this cat inside. We can't. We have enough cats inside, and we've seen how he is towards the other outside male cat that was trying to, that was here first really, that was his territory that he kicked him out of. Um, and we have male cats in this house, so I really don't want to be starting shit inside with a cat that we don't know very well, that we're still kind of learning his personality. And uh, we don't know if he's been to the vet. He's certainly not fixed, I can tell you that much. Or at least it does not appear to be. Um, we don't really have the money to fix him. We thought about trying to do the low-cost cat clinic, but that would involve trapping him. And uh, getting him in a cat carrier. And I don't know how that's going to go. That could turn into a bloodbath. Um, and I don't know if trying to turn him over to the pound is going to do much. He might just try to make his way back here. Like, we went on a walk the other night. It was like 10 o'clock at night and finally cooled down enough where we could go on one. And <laughs> we had to cut our walk shorter than we had planned on because he started following us. It was, I'm like, really? We kept telling him to go home. And he's like, nope. And he was just walking right along with us. We were gonna walk downtown and take a longer loop. And we didn't know where his territory cut off. But as we were walking further down the street, I had seen a cat run across the street pretty quickly. And I didn't know if we were entering someone else's territory. And we didn't want to be starting shit with him following us. And I'm like, sir. So we had to cut our, our walk short and kind of go up one of the hilly streets that we really hadn't planned on that night. Because we found that if we walk in the different direction, we he'll stop after a certain point. He won't go any further. And we're like, is this the end of your territory in this direction? It's very strange. Sorry, we're just mixing some more color here. And, um... We didn't think he would keep going in the other direction, and he did. So we have to specifically double back because he waits for us if he doesn't continue with us. To show him that, yeah, we're back, it's fine. He was that desperate or just that curious. But he was all sorts of full of himself that night. But he scared us the other night trying to get to Zuzu. Because he, he just crossed the street. He didn't even... He's usually pretty wary of the cars, but he was not too mindful of them the other night. The cars got a little bit close. And I'm not saying that there's people in this town that would deliberately try to run a cat over, but I also get the consensus that there are people in this town that would not deliberately try to stop to avoid hitting one. Based off of things I've seen on a couple of the community-run Facebook pages, so... They might be all talk on there. But, uh, I don't know if I really want to risk it. Like, Russell was desperately trying to distract the cat. We thought he was trying to get to Russell, because he wouldn't stay with me. So I took the dog across while Russell waited on the porch to entertain him. 
And he was like, nope, I want the dog. And I'm like, oh. This is interesting. That was not what we thought this was about. We thought this was about the person, not the animal. But at least I didn't have Momo with me. If we do anything with Momo now, um, both of us kind of need to be there. Because when Momo's done, Momo's done. Momo doesn't like to dick around ever since he hurt his back. So I don't know if he's uncomfortable standing up. But he's good enough where it doesn't let him in impede snack, snack finding. But he is asking to go out now, which is not something he did when he first hurt himself. But I just don't think he... He's either scared to be outside because he's afraid he's going to hurt himself again, or he just doesn't want to be on his feet that much. And I can't really blame him. Are we still on camera? Yeah. Sorry, I just remembered that we had zoomed in earlier, and I'm like, oh wait. I don't know. How visible we are at the moment. Okay. Do, 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 do. If it's too dark, let me know and I'll try to put the other light on. I'm functioning with just my little desk light at the moment. Because it's so effing hot. But if you guys need it to be brighter, it doesn't look too bad though. Um, I'll see what I can do. It's pretty warm. When I last checked the temp, it was 97 Fahrenheit with a feels like of 106 but that was a little while ago I actually like I said I did not get enough sleep I woke up um, when did I fall asleep I don't know I think I fell asleep between 630 and 7 to be perfectly honest and I think I woke I don't know what time I woke up I woke up and Russell was taking the dog out so it had to have been after 10. But I don't know what time he woke up, so I know he has an alarm that goes off at 11. But I don't know what time he was actually up today. He might have been up before that. And he was taking Momo out. And I fell back asleep. Oh no, you know what? I woke up at 9.30 and fell back asleep and then woke up again. He was taking the dog out. I'm like, okay, whatever. I turned back over and I fell back asleep again and I woke up to to it being quiet. I mean, I had on what I was watching when I fell asleep, but Russell wasn't in here and I'm like, nerr? And I was like, well, maybe he's in the bathroom. And I was just kind of laying there for a bit. And, um... The longer I'm laying there, the more I'm like, damn, he's been in the bathroom a long time. I should probably get up and check on him. And then it slowly started to sink in that his keyboard was tilted up. It wasn't sitting flat. It was like sitting with the keys facing you, not facing the ceiling. And I was like, what? <laughs> what is this? And um, I was like, oh. Did he go back to bed? Is he not feeling well? And I was starting to get a little concerned because I was going to go find him. I was like, well, wait, is he even here? And then I kind of tried to peek without opening the door to see if I could see the car in the carport. And I couldn't really see. And then I looked up and his keys were missing off of the one hook that he puts them on when he remembers to. So I'm like, okay, he's probably not here. 
unless the keys are somewhere else, but I don't see them on his desk, so. And I didn't want to get the other cat all worked up thinking that we were swapping cats yet, because I didn't have the other one with me, and I'm like, okay. So I was like, alright, so he went somewhere, okay. And that was like at 12.30, so I've actually been up for a while. I would have started sooner, but it took me a bit to get anywhere near functioning. And I had to upload something to YouTube, so I was waiting for that to finish as well. That didn't take that long. I had the render set last night, so... The render said it was going to take like a half an hour, but I didn't believe it, because nothing ever goes fast. It didn't, I mean, it was just, I didn't have a whole lot of layers for it to compile, but when Adobe says a half hour, it usually takes like an hour. I've actually had it say that it was 100% encoded on a video. But it didn't look like it was doing anything. And the little menu was still up, but it was like sort of grayed out. And I'm like, are you stuck? It was just taking that long to finish doing what it was doing. And I got worried and stopped it and had to start it all over again. And then it took like another three hours on that one video. I was like, okay, so it just wasn't finished yet. So if, if it's a long video at this point I've learned to just let it go and go to bed and hope nothing erred while I was sleeping cuz uh, I get impatient and I'm like it says it's done but it's not done what is going on I have to wait for that little encoding box to completely vanish off the screen Which I'm not real good about waiting for. Be that. All right, let's move on to this next section here. Let me pull this down to here. My camera is offset because my desk is at an angle. So I'm on like sort of a corner desk, but not exactly. So the way the camera is, it's like tilted. So I feel like I'm out of frame, but I'm not. It's very strange. This camera is very strange. The picture is not bad, color wise. I could never get the color balance right on the other one. And the other one just always felt so washed out no matter what I did. This one has its washed out moments, but I'm also not fighting the, the LED light bars as badly. I don't know, a ring light would probably fix it, but we don't have one of those. Maybe someday. If we start doing more art days, maybe. But right now we're just only doing the art the one day a week. I don't think we really need to invest that hard at the moment because that would definitely have to be a deliberate investment to save up for. Even if they aren't that expensive, it's expensive to us. <laughs> like seriously. All right. Oh, if anybody is watching that's on the Dragonflight test team for Wild Challenges that signed up for it, make sure you're checking your launcher every week because they unexpectedly did a second round of alpha invites. Because Lita got in unexpectedly. Like, we thought that it was just the one round of alpha. And then if you got into alpha, you were in. If you weren't, you weren't. And she just happened to check it on a whim. 
and she hadn't gotten an email about it either so check in periodically and see if they've done another round and if you got in you have to have opted in for beta testing to um, get into alpha or beta and they're the ones that are I guess randomly selecting I don't know how they do their selection so I probably shouldn't say randomly but they're the ones that are picking it on Blizzard side of things maybe it was just the larger content creator communities that got in very very first go because we were surprised that no one on the WoW Challenges team got in but um, she's in now and of course it's alpha so a lot's going to change but um, between alpha and beta or at least we're expecting it too because you know still kicking the dirt off the tires in alpha so we'll see how things go at the moment don't know if evokers evokers not evokers it's not the class evoker don't know if the 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 dragon people are gonna be allowed to be challengers yet um it depends on, on a few things but at the moment they might be more trouble than they're worth <coughs> bless you <coughs> bless you oh, sorry. like i said bad allergies <laughs> so we'll huh that was loud i'm sorry didn't seem louder than normal for you oh, what is this little bit of dried paint residue on there alright so if I have to do a second pass on these I'm usually not super um, specific like I'm not trying to get like every corner just so there's a little bit of like color variation I guess we're gonna have to mix some more of that but first let's do a maintenance rinse on our brush so because I have a smaller workspace I've had to adapt my tools I guess you could say um, I have a pretty good sized water well that, um, or water bucket that has like the little ridges built into the bottom to help knock the paint off of the brush. However, it, it takes up a fair amount of room. It's probably, let me set you over there, probably, probably about that long and maybe maybe that wide and probably eh, probably about that deep it, it takes up a good amount of room so I'm really limited on space here at the moment so I can't really use it in this particular setup so we have to kind of make do so my next go-to are these little medicine measuring cups that um, you know whenever you get like night quill or day quill or or the liquid pain relievers or what have you that come with the little doodles I don't use these for it I just save them and uh, put them to the side and then they become my little tiny water cups and it makes me feel like I'm not wasting as much water. I'm probably wasting just the same amount, but it makes me feel like I'm not. All right, just gonna pick up some more water here.
actually, we're going to clean that little well there. <laughs> My stomach's growling. Okay, so I was hungry earlier. I, <laughs> I wasn't sure what was going on. Sometimes when I get super hungry, before my stomach starts growling, I'll feel a little off and I'm like, mm, what the hell is this? Apparently I'm hungry <laughs> and hot. It is very hot in here. It's getting hotter. What's the temperature outside? It is currently 99 with a feels like of 106. And we have three different heat advisories up at the moment, which confuses me greatly because I'm like, what? I think one of them is for tomorrow, but I'm not sure. It, it's just, it's strange is what it is. It's very strange. All right, so we are over in here. Fuzz. Okay. When you have this many animals in the house, fuzz happens. Like I get so perturbed. I can't wear black anymore. Everything of black that I have is just an automatic fur magnet. Like no amount of lint brush is gonna help that shit. <laughs> like, I'll have to get a dedicated sticky lint brush if I have to wear black out, cause the second I put something on, even when I've pulled it out of the dryer, it's a little questionable. And then I'll put it on, I'll be like, oh, there's some fuzz on here. And then like within two hours, I look like I've been rolling around on the carpet. I'm like, really? <laughs> Like, this is terrible. No amount of dryer sheets are repelling that bit of fuzz. So this paint, um, when it gets water on it, it tends to bubble up in the palettes. Um, provide, depending on how thick it is. I, I've found that I can uh, clean my these palettes and the plates pretty good um, if I uh, just put some plain old water on it and let it soak for a little bit I haven't tried it with the actual paint palettes yet like the like the Bob Rossi style paint palettes with the thumb holes and stuff I haven't tried it on there yet but I do remember I had gone through quite a few of those acrylic plastic palettes, like the big clear ones, and the paint would just stick. I don't know if I just wasn't trying to clean it right, or if I left it on too long. I don't know. But uh, the plates clean up really well for the most part. Oh, I had a thought. So Posca pens, I was thinking about this last night. Are so you talking to me or the both. Okay. So um, Posca pens are like an acrylic paint pen and they stick to just about anything. Mm -hmm. And you can use them on like glass and plastic. Mm -hmm. So here's my thought. When we go to replace my PC eventually, mm -hmm. I wanna get one of the clear sided ones if we can so that I can do a little lawn and flamingos okay, to customize it. That's fine. And then we can have like a flamingo rave if it's got colors on the inside like yours does. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. I was thinking about it last night. I was like, oh, we could do that. Sorry. The, the thoughts that pop in my head, if I don't say them, I'll forget about them.
And we could do that on stream. Posca pens are a little pricey, because, though, so I'd have to either buy the colors individually that I need, or just get a very small pack and hope all the colors are in there. I'd probably end up buying them individually. But if we've got the cash to replace the PC, then we'll have the money to get the Posca pens. Because I think, depending on how big they are, like nib-wise, I think they run about 350 a marker. <laughs> to me, that's very expensive. I, I've had to become very cost-aware. If it was the days where I was still working at the craft store, I wouldn't even think anything of it. I'd be like, okay, cool. I might like look at it and be like, hmm, but buy them anyway. But like just buy a color a week. But um Or maybe not even, maybe just buy a pack with a 40 off. Cuz uh when when you worked for AC more, you got a 20% employee discount and you could use a 40 off coupon. You got both. Which was fun. Especially on the larger ticket items. I will admit. And it was 40 off one item, so... Gotta make that sucker count. And I was thinking of, you know, maybe I could use a 40 off coupon on the Cricut, but... A lot of places won't let you use the 40 off coupon on the Cricut, so. Which is stupid because it's still a couple hundred bucks that you'd be paying even with the 40 off coupon. But it's like, come on guys, you'd sell so many more of these. I think the cricket that I was looking at was like three or four hundred bucks and I was like, damn. Why are you so much money, child? But apparently it does more than just what I was looking at it for. You can make um you can cut the vinyl for the heat vinyl transfer stuff and all that. I have to do more research before that becomes a done deal, but it's certainly not nowhere near a done deal now because that money ain't there. Bills gotta get paid before before fun happens of that magnitude. That's for damn sure. Okay. I'm just kind of stirring this together just to make sure that the water is still mixed in there. What is this guy? This one? Okay. He looks like he is further on the surface than he is. So I haven't had any more time to put in on the warrior this week. So I'm a little sad about that, but we got the Demon Hunter ready for Wednesday. Um, I still need to finish the Shaman. I don't necessarily know if that's going to happen later tonight. Um, we'll, we'll see. But, um... The shaman would probably have to be really close to being done tonight for me to get any more leveling time in on the warrior. Because I'd have to get through one more level on the warrior by Wednesday. Oh, the ad changed. I have a, a news website up on my other screen. And the light changed. Like, it got really dim for a second. I'm like, what? What is happening? 
I thought the one screen powered off for a second. I was like, uh, <laughs> gremlins? What is happening? But I think the ad just changed that was sitting at the top. Entirely possible. Alright, so like I said, I'm going to worry about the sides of this off stream. I can hit that up later tonight if I can't bear the thought of leveling. <laughs> or a Monday night or something, we can do that then. Alright, well, I guess we're mixing a little more color then. Uh, well, thinning down the color, we're not really making a new color. And I'm kind of playing with fire here, <laughs> lifting that brush up over everything with the water in it. Because part of me is like, you know it's gonna just drop, right? And then you're gonna have a huge ass mess. Okay, now that is probably a little thick. I can't really see the canvas through it and that's okay it's not the end of the world I can just come back and dip my brush into there to kind of soak up some of that extra and then we'll put it on somebody else needs a little help here You're a little dark still, I think. So this is our background watercolor. That's why we went with a different color than the sky. To try to differentiate that. Again, this is a step that you guys don't have to do if you just want to do the light, the lighter color on the water and be done with it that's fine. I was just kind of doing this just to give it a little more character. Just to tone it down a little bit. Make it a little bit streaky because you know those old Tiffany lamps and stuff some of the the coloration on them they look a little bit streaky. So I don't know like some colors You'll see where it gets like almost white in certain places. Oh, this poor desk. I've got tape everywhere on the edge that faces me. Like not the top, like the actual side edge. Because I don't know why, but I guess the glue gave way on whatever veneer or whatever this is that's covering it. Whatever this wood stuff is. Um, and like the little lip on the edge let go and it kept hitting me and then it was cutting into my arm and I'm like fuck this so. I just cut it off and then it was sticky from from the glue that was still there that wasn't holding what it was supposed to be holding anymore and I was like really okay so then I tried to put um, painters tape over it and it wouldn't hold the painters tape I'm like you're sticky but you're not holding the painters tape this is dumb um <laughs> so then after arguing with my desk for a little bit I was like, okay, fine, I've got packing tape. Let's do the packing tape. And the packing tape worked for a little while, except now it's starting to unstick. All right, that might have been a little too liquidy. Eh, live and learn. And paint over it. 
because it's acrylic paint. And then we'll do it all again. So then the packing tape kind of held for a little while in part of it. And then in another part, it's starting to let go. And I'm like, stop. So then I took some masking tape and was trying to tape down the packing tape. There's going to just be like five feet of tape on the edge of this desk soon. My next stop is duct tape. But it's going to have to be like name brand duct tape because the off brand just ain't working. Or maybe I'll get Gorilla Tape. Gorilla Tape's expensive though. It sheds like eight bucks a roll. Maybe that'll stick. If that doesn't stick, I don't know. We're in trouble. But um, I just can't believe that painter's tape that's supposed to be gentle on your walls and not damage the, <laughs> damage the shit out of the surface of this desk. So let me show you guys. You guys don't see it because it's covered most of the time. Or we don't have the camera on. But come here, Flamingo. Let me see if it will show. So that's all the damage from the blue painter's tape that it did to the surface of this desk. I don't know if this desk was just poorly made. Or if that painter's tape was way too sticky. But, you know. It is what it is. I, I want this to be like a little pterodactyl guy holding like some flowers. Like, I don't know. Like, he just reminds me of like one of the dinosaurs from the Flintstones. Maybe one day we'll bust out the, uh, what do I do with my paint? There it is. We'll bust out the colored pencils. I already have one thing colored in with colored pencil, but you can't see it. It's up here under the box that's holding my monitor up, so. Adjusting the camera is not even really going to see him. Got like a little pink parody thing that I just kind of quickly colored in. Because it's weird because I'm like, I shouldn't be coloring this because I'm damaging my desk. And then... It's like, it's your desk, idiot. Do what you want with it. I constantly have this war of like, no, I need to keep it nice. I'm like, girl, have you seen the surface of the desk? That ship has passed. It sailed. It's done. Just fuck it at this point. <laughs> Just fuck it. Just do what you want. I do miss my drafting desk, though. I, I, I kick myself all the time for not bringing that with me. It had a good amount of surface on it. It, it was, um, it was not this fake wood shit. It actually felt like, um, not necessarily plastic but it definitely had a surface on it that could withstand tape at least <laughs> like my goodness painter's tape at that oh yeah it's safe to put on your walls it's not safe to put on this desk it wasn't even that freaking sticky it was it didn't even rip the watercolor paper, but that's why um, I would bought a cutting board that I was going to use as a second, um, as a second uh, watercolor paper board, because I only had the one glass board that I was using, um, and it was more like a glass. I don't know, like a glass trivet or a glass counter protector that um, we had had a microwave or a toaster oven sitting on that we weren't using anymore. So I took the glass tray 
and started using it for that. And it works really well. But I'm going to tilt this up for a second, guys. Um, cause this one's just kind of sitting over the edge overlapping. So I just want to get this guy now. Um, it works pretty well. This tape sticks to it and lets go pretty good. So I bought a plastic co cutting board. I'm like, well, I'll use this as a second one. Don't you know my effing tape won't stick to it? <laughs> The damn painter's tape will not stick to that cutting board. And I'm like, really? So that's what the became the painting slash clay board that we use sometimes. The white one that's got paint all over it. Um, I can't use it with the watercolor paper because it won't stick. So I have to use the glass one. I'm just like, really? You're really going to fight me on this? Okay. Sure. All right, I'm going to get this one too. So give me one second, we'll put the painting back down here in just a minute. Just a minute. Just want to get that on there and it's easier if I just tilt this up. Okay, I will do the sides on this later tonight. Okay, so that's not bad. That's not bad. Um, all right. Now, so I mean, we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. Let me rinse this out real good. Might need to change my water here. I'm just kind of wiping my brush off on my towel here. Can't see the towel, towel's off screen. Got some paint up against the bottom of the pharaoh. That I don't necessarily want up in there, but that's all right. Okay, now let me dump that water. All right. Nope, nope. Nope, don't lose the lid. That would be a pain. Not the end of the world, because we've got these bottles all over the place, but still an inconvenience. Okay, so now we need to figure out what color we want our leaves to be on our cattails. And I'm actually thinking that we do the um, the hunter green with the basil. I think that would be a good combo. I don't think we've done these two together. Oh, I think I got a drop of water on here. Oh, well, that's not bad. Okay. Sometimes with this paint, if it hasn't like fully dried for too long and you get a little bit of water on it, you can lift it up with like a tissue or a paper towel, but sometimes it'll pull the paint up with it a little bit. It kind of did there, but not too bad. I'm just shaking our green paint here. Oh. Green paint's being a little unruly. We're just going to start with small amounts today. We can always add more and we probably will have to add more. Okay, so microphone foot, you're being a problem. All right. Okay. So this is the Hunter Green. Same paint brand that we've been using. If I add something in from a different paint brand, I will be sure to let you know. Because sometimes, if I have to mix a lot of this, and I need a lot of a lighter shade of it, I will take like the artist tube of white paint. Sometimes if I need it just to be a little bit thicker, or if I need to make sure it's going to opaque up a little bit, um, I will grab some like Liquitex basic white, and 
and uh, mix that in. Not all the time. Depends on what I'm doing. But they uh, they incorporate pretty well together. All right, so I'm just gonna start filling in our leaf shapes here. Now I'm not adding any water to this. You might need to dampen your brush just a little bit if it's a little too thick and doesn't want to flow. But that kind of depends. Oops, if I get the palette out of the way on what you're going for and your preferences. And I don't care that our pencil lines can be seen because we're going to take care of that later and that will be all good and you know these are leaves they don't have to be perfectly symmetrical or their lines don't have to be completely non-wobbly. Their leaves sitting in the wind or the breeze. Alright, I did just pick up a little bit of water there. It was just like a quick dunk with my brush just because that was a little bit thick. It will thin our shade out a bit, so that's something that we have to keep in mind, but we're probably going to have to come back in and do another coat on this anyway. And right now I'm just kind of looking at this and I'm like, where are my sketch lines going? Because <laughs> I've got a few intersecting lines here. And I wasn't that um, worried about erasing the where they overlapped before. Because I was like, ah, we'll paint it. It's fine. And now I'm sitting here looking at it and I'm like, um, what's an intersection here? And what's not so um might want to make sure while the idea is still happening and flowing from your implement whatever you're using to sketch this out make sure that you've done something so your brain remembers where you were going with this and what leaf was what leaf was what just to try to save you some heartache in the end here It's kind of okay if these are touching a little bit. Because we're going to have our... You okay? Uh-huh. Outdoor child is by, so I'm going to check on them. Okay. Kind yeah, make sure they got water. Yep. It's hot out as it is. We refer to the outdoor cat as our stepchild. Everything okay? Yeah, oh, it's hot out. That was a hot gust of wind. And he came in that door. Damn. Damn.
No wonder the AC is struggling. We gotta get that thing serviced next year. We really should have had it serviced this year, but... There wasn't exactly funds for that. But that is on our list of things that need doing. Alright, so these are going to be kind of crisscrossing in here a little bit. It's just kind of Kind of the way that's gonna go, we can put separation lines in when we come back in with our black paint to clean up our edges. So it's not not a huge problem. You all right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's very, very hot. He doesn't handle the heat well. Kind of surprised he's not in his mom's room because her room's the coldest one in the house. Do you need to go in your mom's room for a while? No, I'm good. All right. Did you get another water? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I've got like, I don't know. I had like 10 bottles in the freezer last night. I don't know if any of them need replacing. I should probably look into that. Hmm, I do have a bit of a leaf up here, and I'd rather do that after we get the body painted, but at the same time, I don't want to forget <laughs> kind of thing. This leaf is going to cut across this one. So it's really the background that I've got chopped up in our little paint chips or tiles or whatever you want to refer to it as. Alright, now let me rinse my brush here. Like, I don't have to, but I also don't want this color to dry, because I actually kind of like these brushes at the moment. Oh, goodness. Okay. That's just how well. Sometimes you'll get the air bubbles. Sometimes after you shake, you might want to... Um, give it a second maybe tap the top side just to try to get them worked up to the surface so that way the paint's not on top of it. Sorry, we had a little, we had a dried paint doodle there on the nozzle. I just wanted to deal with real quick there. All right. So I'm going to come back in on these guys, right, because I wanted I wanted these guys dark, so I'm going to do another quick pass.
Like, I don't want them, like, black dark, because we want to be able to see our black paint outline. And, like, where the outline stops and the leaf starts again. But... I don't want these like mint green either so if you want mint green leaves then hey you do what you want to do all right so i'm gonna wipe any excess off on this empty well here and i'm gonna come back in with some of our basil I'm just going to kind of start filling in in the spots where I want the leaves to look a little bit lighter. And I might have to do this a couple of times. To get the shading where I want it. And that's fine. And if it's getting a little too light, you can take it back in the other direction too, don't forget. Now, you don't have to be quite this fussy if you don't want to be. If you want it to be just the basic um, leaf shape of one color, that's fine too. You do how you want it. I was kind of using this well in between the two to wipe off any excess where I really don't want to. Maybe not necessarily I'm ready to paint my brush yet, or um, clean my brush. I still want the paint in there. I don't want these super like lime green light because you know I mean I suppose we could put a couple of streaks in there like that but I, I don't think we really need to all right so back into the dark I've wiped most of that shading that we did that was in the brush off. And I'm just kind of scribbling this in, scrubbing it in pretty quick with just the tip here. You know, you're not you're not cleaning anything at the moment. You're not scrubbing your kitchen floor, so you don't want to really no elbow grease here. You don't want to scrub the brush the bristles right out of your brush um, just kind of gently going back and forth here just to kind of get that wet again and get that dark color in and then back into our basil color and yes I am sideways I apologize the camera's not not wrong, it's just I don't know if I can flip the camera to make it look like we're straight up and down. But uh straight up and down won't fit 
this works right we won't fit the workspace so I probably should have thought about that when I was uh, setting this guy up of course I didn't of course you know why would I do that <laughs> but uh, this is also easier for my hand to reach don't be afraid to turn your stuff you know, other people will see it when it's turned back the right way you're the one that's working on it I am going to do a maintenance rinse here you're the one that has to work on it. You need to be comfortable to reach where you need to reach. So, if somebody's going to have a problem with it, then they can fuck off. What the hell? Motorcycle. Sounds like a lawnmower. The things we hear. It may have been a tractor. We have seen a tractor or two go by in our day. Even on a non parade day, I think some of the farms have fields that are separated. Or maybe they were. washing it at the car wash for some reason I don't know and I just thought it was easier to just drive it couldn't say couldn't say I don't know sometimes I wonder if they're just driving down to the gas station so they don't have to getting whatever farm truck they need, but I would think it would waste more gas doing that, but I don't know. Alright, gotta keep making sure I move my hand out of the way. Let's get this guy next. It's gonna be our main support structure here for our cattail. He actually belongs to this particular one that we're working on. This leaf kind of belongs to that guy over there. So I am wiping off between going back in and grabbing some more of our basil, just because these colors are mixing, and I want the I want the basil to mix with the hunter to a degree, but I also want us to be able to see this basil. So whatever doesn't blend in, cool. We'll just kind of go with it. Okay. Well, this is just something you're gonna have to play with back and forth. You kind of get your your color combo where you want it to be. And remember to paint with with your shape. So you don't want to paint like up and down like this. You want to paint in the direction. 
that your leaf would be coming out of your plant, so we'd be going doop. And not not like this. We wanna flow with the leaf. Be one with the leaf. Whatever you need to do to get it in your head to follow the shape of the thing. Because the direction of the brush strokes can help get the point across of what you were trying to do. In just a bit. So it is Sunday, and I don't think I've asked, how has everybody's weekend gone? Everybody doing good? Everybody feeling okay? Trying to beat the heat here a little bit? Or staying warm if it's chilly where you're at? I wouldn't mind some chilly temperatures. Not like, you know, below freezing, but I wouldn't mind some some chilliness, although it would probably kill the plant crops, but being somewhere a little bit cooler would be nice. my brush after that one. This makes it a little bit easier. Now we don't have to worry about paint drying all up in there. Sorry for the creaky squeaky chair. Not much I can do about that. I'd really like to look into the gaming chairs. but we don't really have anywhere that sells them. I think Office Depot or Office Max. I'm not sure which one it is. One of them went out of business, but one of them still exists. Whatever one still exists, we have one of those. And um, I think I would only seen one in there once. but it was way out of my price point so I didn't even think about sitting in it but if I ever do go that route I've got to try to get one that does not have arms on it I can't have chairs with arms the chair I have now has arms but the arms move I can flip them up and flip them out of the way so that's acceptable but I can't actually have arms because I will rest my arms on the, the chair arm and I'll push down and that um, flares my neck up real bad so no matter how many times I yell at myself don't use the armrests because that's been part of my neck problem is I've had the one armrest down and I've caught myself leaning on it and I keep admonishing myself not to do that but and it flares up the pressure in me neck something terrible And then I get a pressure headache where I just feel sick, so that's no fun. I think I forgot to highlight that little guy back into there.
Okay, let me get some of the excess off of there. And I'm okay if this is a little bit streaky in here because we're not really we're not going for realistic, so if the blending's a little off, it's a little off. It's fine. It'll be okay. Alright. And rinse that up. There goes that ill sounding vehicle again. I don't know what it was. It really sounded like somebody riding a lawnmower. I can't see out the window. We've got like blankets on the the windows and stuff to try to keep the heat out. Let's finish getting our base green color in on this one. Probably should have did that before I started highlighting, but that's okay. We've given this one a chance to dry. We started coming in with the other colors. Does anybody do anything fun this weekend? Or did you get anything accomplished? My accomplishment was not sleeping late for the art stream today. <laughs> and uh, getting some stuff done that Azzy asked me to give him. Well, okay, he didn't ask for a video, but he asked to know where my grinding spots were, so it was just easier to show up in the video. Because then I could walk him through the loop and show what mobs I was doing and explain what they do and what they might what he, he uh, might want to test before he really gets in there and goes at it. I mean, hunters can handle pretty much anything to a degree but some of the other classes it's a little a little sketchy you definitely want to test those before you really start going at it with them all right so I'm gonna let that first coat of that green set up On those leaves that we just did. And while that's setting up, I'm gonna move over to the next one. And we're just letting that base coat dry just a little bit because with this paint, if it's still wet when you're trying to if your base coat's still wet and you're trying to blend on top of it, sometimes it, you're pulling the paint back up if it's real wet. Like you're pulling it off instead of it sticking. Which is why I usually let that first color just kind of get in there. First pass, do its thing. At least with something like this. If we were going for something a little more real, I would probably have mixed it with a um, little bit of a more thicker paint, and then I would have like uh, pounced it in. Alright, so we'll let that hang out there. This leaf is going to be right up on the edge and kind of have the bird blocking it. I'm 
Alright, that got a little close to that watercolor, but that's okay. We can clean it up when we come in to do our line work. So the paint's giving me a little bit of a glare with the way this light is situated and because it's wet. But once that starts to dry, that'll matte right down. It won't be as matte as, say, like the golden super matte or whatever the hell it's called, but um, it'll, it'll still be matte. These are definitely not glossy versions of the paint. They might make a glossy version, maybe, but I'm not using it. At least not on this project. Okay, so that one's kind of chilling. Just gonna rinse the brush real good here. No reason not to. I mean, it's not like we're using a custom color that I don't want to waste any of. And this hunter can get very dark when you start layering it up, which is why we're adding a bit of the basil into it, just to kind of lighten that up just a little bit so we can see where our black paint is. Now if we can't see the black paint around these leaves, I'll come back in with another lighter color. And we'll uh, lighten up the edges a little bit, but I don't think it'll be too much of an issue. But that we'll figure out when we get there. And make adjustments if need be. Getting this kind of worked into here. All right. I think that's going to need a little bit more. basil on it because it looks pretty dark still but we got sort of our base blend in so I'm just going to come back with just a little bit and just kind of streak that in on that guy it doesn't have to be covering the entire thing because you want some sections of it to be a little bit dark and then the other sections are just kind of where the sun's probably blinting off that bad boy so you don't need to get too carried away
Hopefully you guys don't mind the traffic noise in the background too much. I can't always talk over it to try to to tone it down a little bit. I try sometimes. Sometimes it's better than others, but Pretty good there. Pretty happy with that so far. So this one's starting to dry a bit with our first blended pass. All right, so let me rinse that. The brush is starting to feel a little tacky. Now we're going to come back in with another pass on our green here, dark one. Start to blend in our basil friend. With that, a little bit of paint there. I don't want to cover the entirety of it. That seems like a good mix there. All right. Clean the brush again. All right, so now let's move over a little bit to the next one. And you can kind of see how um, the different aspects of this are starting to fill in, starting to come to life more, getting a better feel for the, the piece, the drawing, the painting, whatever you want to call it. do the first pass on these guys here to get them drying. On their way to being set up. Just so we don't have to wait too long on them. I mean this paint dries pretty quick. It's not like it's gonna take hours to dry. More like minutes. Because I mean that that light color that we used earlier is already halfway dry in my palette. It would probably be 
I would consider it too dry to try to use to get anything meaningful out of at this point. Alright, so we got another one in here. Do you know what she's doing for dinner? Okay. Well, this one we're only going to be able to see the leaves on. When I was getting the yeast together, she's like, you didn't turn the microwave on when I put it inside. Because I'll put the yeast bowl in the microwave just so that it's um, contained. Because um, ants, so I don't trust it just sitting out on the counter. She's like, you didn't start the microwave. I'm like, yeah, I'm, it's just sitting in there chilling. It's yeast. She's like, oh, I thought it was soup. I'm like, no. No, mother. The mixer's out. This is not soup. It was a pretty gnarly looking soup. It was a yeast water mixture. That is some thin tan soup. <laughs> So, got that one drying. Okay. So, just so you know, next week we'll be working on the flamingo itself and the tops of the cattails. Because we have to do the body, or I want to do the body before I do those. And our uh, flamingo-y legs here. I think we're going to have to figure out dinner soon. Because I don't remember the last time I ate anything. I feel like the only thing meaningful that I had to eat yesterday was dinner. And I finished that at like 8.30. And I had a couple of snacky chips. And that wasn't that many. And I was much too tired to go snack foraging after Russell went to bed. I was just like, yeah, no, that, that's not happening. I was too busy, too. I was too focused on getting some shit done that needed it dealing with. I was afraid to stop too much in the middle. Because I was afraid I wouldn't remember what the hell I was in the middle of doing. I mean, I did have to stop a couple of times to go take care of some stuff, but... I try not to do that too often. Because then the whole train kind of derails and it takes me forever to get back into what the heck I was working on. The 
scattered brainedness that you see on stream. It's not just on stream. It very much happens off stream. You all right? Mm -hmm. Alright, so we got that a little bit later over there. So our basils actually holding up pretty good. Drying time wise here. I'm gonna rinse my brush real quick because it was starting to get a little tacky. It's that hot in here. It's drying a little bit faster than I would like it to. Uh oh, what did Tyler send me? I have no idea. I don't care that he sent me something, I just didn't know if you knew. Sometimes he sends us both the same thing. I can't imagine he would send either of the things he sent me today, so I don't know. Sometimes I'm included in the boys club. Usually when it's not something that's D&D related. <laughs> it would just go right over my head. I know a little bit about D&D, barely, but usually all that has to be explained. Oh, what is that? Oh my god! <laughs> excuse, excuse me. Shit. Mm. Damn. I thought it was a porcupine rolling around on a couch. Tur I have no idea what you're even talking about, so. And it turned around and it's a Yorkie. The couch is that staticky. Ah. I was not expecting to see a Yorkie. Yes, I'm like melting. You need to put your fan on. I don't care if it's rattling on my stream. I just didn't want it rattling on the podcast. Okay, well, I'm going to leave that on because the trigger is circulating. Oh no, my, my shirt is soaked. It's disgustingly hot in here. And getting hotter. And we're gonna turn the oven on and make it even hotter. Because we're gluttons for punishment, we are. But we gotta make dinner. Damn it. I did not make pizza dough for nothing. That was another reason why I was a little late getting started. I was making our dough for dinner. That and still waking up. I keep forgetting. I'm like, why am I so damn hungry? And well, I did get up at 12.30, so. A little bit. Earlier than I normally do. Or at least up and out of bed and trying to function. What's the matter, meows? Hi. Hi, littles. What woke you up? Hi. Are you okay? You look confused. Are you alright? You're in my spot where I put my fan. So I can't have my fan on. We have a, a double window fan, like one of those ones where if you turn it the one way it's like sucking air out of the room and you turn it the other way and it's blowing air into the room. Um, when we don't have the window open, I sit it on the end of the bed and face it to me. I think it creates a hum on the microphone though, so I try not to do that during stream. 
because I'm not exactly sure how loud it is. I couldn't tell how loud it was in the video I recorded for Azzy last night, but it was just for Azzy, so I'm like, I'm hot. The fan's gonna be on. Um, but she's sitting right where I put it. So, that's not helpful. It's not helpful, Kitty. I already kind of moved her once already. And she's being relatively good. So I don't want to move her along again. This one would probably be a little bit darker. To a degree. What's she making? She just microwaved her food. Are you having anything on yours? I was gonna about to ask you what you want me to do. Um, I guess some meatball. Okay. Probably like two, if we can spare them. Yeah, no, we just got them. All right. I'm just gonna kind of work this guy in. I actually had to put my humidifier on last night because it was so effing hot and dry. Russell's like, it's just gonna make it more humid in the room, and I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna risk it. Like the nosebleeds are getting a bit much. I'm getting so dried out. But, but they're predicting rain later this week. Well, thunderstorms, but hopefully we actually get some rain out of it. Right now it's like a 50% chance, like three days in a row. I'm hoping that doesn't dwindle and we actually get some of that. Because they said the models right now look like we might get five inches of rain, which would be fantastic. We certainly need it. That's for sure. The farmers definitely need it too. Gotta be a little careful there. I almost ended up in our in our green our uh, sea green color there. And that would have been a little bit more of a a pain to uh, fix there. Just a bit. Sounds like Russell just dropped something out of the fridge. That's probably not good. Alright. So I keep like inching this down to me, but I think. Yeah, we can just. We can just move the. the camera screen. That would be easier. more than likely. 
Alright, so we're just gonna continue on with how we've been doing the others. As I try to figure out where the heck my plant lines are here. So I got a little carried away with my sketching and got a little too loose. Maybe we should have did the leaves first and then the background. Hmm. Yeah, it's fine. Doesn't really have to be in a specific order. I think I might need one more drop of our dark green paint though, because this is getting a little thick, because it is drying on the palette, and we've been using it so it's been drying a little bit faster with the more the volume's been going down. I mean, I'm only putting tiny little dollops here. Oh, don't mind me just tapping the microphone with the paintbrush handle. <laughs> that was close. I. I nudged, I inhaled and nudged the, uh, the edge of the canvas there. And that was almost a problem. not sure how much of a mess I'm making on the side there. Hopefully I haven't messed up anything too bad because I did feel like I went over the edge there a bit. I guess we'll find out when I get over to that spot. get the chance to visually check that out. So I am still trying to get that speed paint put together. It's just taking me a little bit because, you know, Winds of Wisdom happened for a while, so I've been preoccupied on my day that I have that I can edit shit. And it's just been so hot the rest of the week. I was a little hesitant to really get that editing program going and putting it through its paces here. Alright, I'm going to tilt this up just for a moment. Sorry. this leaf does kind of drape the side a little bit. I know my edge is a little messy here but we can clean that up in a few minutes. Alright, so just gonna rinse real quick. Okay, back into our dark green, and we'll start to get our next 
somewhere in here. I'm just going to kind of dip into our basil just a little bit, just with the tip of the brush. Don't need to go too crazy here. have our base layer down so this will just be a little bit of extra coloring in here and we'll serve to darken up those leaves and allow us to get this blended in here a bit And if you're not happy with where the blending is, lighten it now before it dries too much. Then you're just going to have to get some more of your dark color in there. Yeah. So it might take a little bit of back and forth here. Until you're happy. If you'd rather not have it this blended and you're fine with just the dark color, leave it fine. Leave it alone. Just do your second coat of your dark color and then leave it be if that's how you want to do it going to tell you what to do. We're just kind of figuring out the things and stuff and what feels good, what we're happy with. That's all we're doing. We're just kind of playing. Alright, that's not bad. Alright, so I'm going to clean that up a little bit more. Alright, so last set of foliage for today. Without putting my hand in too much trouble here. Hopefully. So I'm going to raise this up again. Shit, I just made a mess. That's alright. I think we can salvage that little spot it might not be as bad as I'm thinking it is. Alright, so I'm going to put this on a little bit thick. Can you preheat the oven? 425. That way by the time the oven's done preheating, we should be wrapped up here. And my mom should be out of the way. What? That's what you want to make shot. Mm, sorry. Yeah. I mean, I didn't see anyone who went to Sam's either. Because I did look for it. We might just have to get the shelf stuff. Mm. I'd rather get the craft if we're going to get the shelf stuff, though. 
Like the last time we were in Springdale, uh, they had the block. I didn't see the bag. Yeah. But I don't think you get as much out of the block and then we'd have to actually greet it. And I don't even know if we still have that box greeter. We might have gotten rid of it. Uh, one's not working. Like the one that we had was messed up. So we should get one at some point. I know it was a pain in the ass to clean. I still have a scar on my hand where it took a chunk of skin off me. Right, so we're just going into the basil. And just getting our shading and I'm not going to worry about the roughness of that edge too much even though it's bugging me but uh, we'll be cleaning that up later as with all of our little wobbly brush stroke areas I was going to do another quick look, see if anybody needs another quick tap of some basil -y love here. That basil does dry down quite a bit darker. It almost looks kind of olivey once it's it's dry. Just hit this guy up a little. He's still a little darker than I would. I like him to be. Hi, Zuzu. Bye, Zuzu. I don't know where he went. He got a drink and he left. Alright, so. There's our cattail leaves. And because I'm starving, we're going to call it here today. We didn't get a whole lot done, but we kind of did at the same time. So let's bring things back down. And uh, see the mess on my desk. Alright, so this is where we're at so far. I can't really get a good look at this guy. You can kind of see him a little bit there. So next week we will start in on um, the flamingo body. And if we get the flamingo body done, we'll do our cattail tops. And then we won't be doing it next week, but the week after we will start to bring in our... Um, our lining. And that will take us a little bit longer because we're going to do that in paint because I don't have a paint pen. But, um, you know, we'll have to play with the consistency of the water and paint and I might have to count how many drops I'm doing of the water because we'll have to do several batches of that. But not too shabby so far. Um, uh, I'm liking it. So this week away from stream, I will get the edges of the water with their top coat layer to lighten them up a bit. So let's see, is anybody... No, nobody I'm really feeling is streaming right now. Everybody's kind of wrapped up for the day that I know. 
Alright, so on that note, I will see you guys on Wednesday for some uh, WoW Challenges leveling. Take care on your challengers, be safe out there, and until next time, have a good one you guys.